Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making old fashioned meatloaf. Okay, I'm starting out here in a nonstick skillet. And I'm going to add in some olive oil. Roughly about three to four tablespoons. Move that around, get it nice and coated. And I have roughly two cups of onion. It was one large onion, about two cups that I dice fine. I'm going to get them in here and saute them for about five minutes over medium high heat. All right, now that these sauteed for about five minutes, I'm going to add in garlic. Now this calls for four cloves, but I'm using it pre-chopped in a jar. So I'm just going to add in about four teaspoons. And I'm going to continue sauteing this for about another minute, just to warm the garlic through. Okay, now that my onions and garlic are done sauteing, I put them in a big bowl and moved them aside and let them cool for about five minutes. Now in that bowl, I'm going to add in roughly three pounds of hamburger, and this isn't lean hamburger, this is like a 7327. And I'll explain how we're going to handle this, cook it later in a little bit. Now to that, I'm going to add in a cup of chili sauce, and this is a 12 ounce bottle, so I'm just going to eyeball it. If I go over by a hair, it's not going to hurt nothing. Okay, that's about a cup there. I'm also going to add in three eggs. And my friend Melissa, over at Melissa Witch, she's always saying about how she can't make tender meatloaf. Or moist, juicy meatloaf, I should say. It's always dry. So watch, Melissa. You're going to learn something today. I'm going to add in a cup and a half of old-fashioned oats. Now, these aren't the instant ones or the quick oats. They're just regular old-fashioned ones. I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have my own uh, type of meatloaf I make, but this is the old-fashioned type. So... It's a little different than I make it. Okay, now I'm going to get in here and mix this well with my hands. Okay, now that I have my hamburger all blended, I have a 9 by 13 baking pan here. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. And I'm going to take my hamburger and I'm going to divide it up into two even loaves. And if you have a smaller family or you're single, you can cut this, the size of this recipe in half. Just like I said before, it's me and a wife and three teenage boys, and uh, so you're done talking about supper and then taking some to lunch for work to lunch or to work for your lunch. Let's get that out. I have enough. There's trash in my counter over here. A big blob of hamburger just fell on the floor and my dog Abby, she's uh, making short work of that. And you just want to form them into fairly even meatloafs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes because like I said this isn't lean hamburger and it's going to cook off a lot of grease. Then after 20 minutes, I'll take it out and I'll drain that grease off and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, now that my 20 minutes are up, I drained off the grease. And like I said, if you use lean hamburger, you can just skip over this step and start right from the beginning from raw beef. I took a half a cup of chili sauce and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard and made the sauce from top of the meatloafs. So I'm just going to spread that evenly around on them. And then after I get this part done, I'm going to put this back in the oven for another half hour because it has to bake for a total of 50 minutes. So I'm going to finish going ahead and uh, coating these with the sauce, and I'm going to get them in the oven. Okay, my meatloaf's done. I left it go for a total of 50 minutes, and I took it out and left it rest for 5 minutes. Let's go ahead and cut into it and see how it looks. And as you can see, that meatloaf is nice and tender. It's actually falling apart on me. So let's go ahead and uh, fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some oven roasted vegetables to go with this. So there you have it. Old fashioned meatloaf. Give this a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see ya.